Now, Peru is home to one of the world's richest fisheries, but recently the country has slashed its commercial fishing quota by more than a half. Weather conditions are a factor, but fishing industry chiefs are calling for a deeper investigation. Dan Collins reports from Lima. More than 80% of the world's biomass of anchovies can be found off the Peruvian coast. The resource is so bountiful that Peru is the world's first producer of fish meal, which is made from the small fish. Last year, Peru exported more than $2 billion in fish oil and fish meal, which feeds pigs in China and farmed salmon in Scotland. But the latest scientific data shows stocks have dropped by more than 40% to a critical low. We try to keep a balance between the biological, the economic, and the social impact. A lot of the people depend on fishing, but there was clearly a red light when we saw that the anchovy stocks could fall below the 4 million ton mark, at which point the resource will no longer be sustainable. Peru prides itself on its sustainable management of its fishery. The summer season quota has been drastically cut to 800,000 tonnes, causing shockwaves in the fishing industry. The quota is almost 70% less than it was last year. We've never seen such a reduced quota under normal conditions, and that's why we think the last scientific investigation might have got its numbers wrong due to the conditions at the time. We think this merits a new investigation, and that's what we're asking for. The short answer from the fisheries ministry was no. Minister Trevino says bad practices were also to blame for the drop in anchovy stocks. Illegal catches of juvenile fish, she said, were impacting on reproduction and weather conditions were also a factor. Meteorologists say a mild El Nino phenomenon is warming Peru's coastal waters, driving shoals of cold water anchovies further away. The scarcity of this fish has already caused the death through starvation of many pelicans and other seabirds. Up to 98% of the anchovy catch goes to make the more profitable fish meal for export. But in a nation with still high levels of malnutrition, the government wants to promote consumption of the high protein fish. That will mean taking on a fish meal industry which is already seeing a big drop in profits. Dan Collins, CTTV, Lima.